What's up, Twinkle Tits? Today I'm gonna teach you how to drive. I know you probably have a ton of questions like, what should I expect out on the road? How fast should I drive? Why the fuck are you wearing a tank top? You look like a douchebag. And I'm gonna answer all those questions except for that last one because you already answered it. Now, if you don't have your license, you don't need to take driver's ed or pay a couple hundred dollars to have some off-duty gym teacher tell you how to make a three-point turn. You just need to shut your ass and open your ears to what I'm about to say, okay? You might want to grab a fucking pen. Let's go over some important things before we start driving. First thing, the seat belt. Safety first. Look how happy this seat belt wearing fuck is. He's got no neck, but he's safe. Think of your seat belt as a condom. Every time you don't use it, you're at risk. Except when you don't use a seat belt, that's not gonna cause like a burning sensation when you pee. But it could, however, result in a broken fucking neck. So maybe use it. Why wouldn't you use a fucking seatbelt? I don't like seatbelts, they're uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. What the fuck does that mean? What do you have, sensitive nipples? Get the fuck out of here. You know what's uncomfortable? Getting shot out of the driver's seat, through the fucking windshield, face first onto the pavement, and having broken legs. That's pretty uncomfortable. Next thing. Always remember to adjust your mirrors. Before you start the car, you gotta adjust your mirrors. If you don't adjust your mirrors, then you're not gonna see certain shit. Like, I don't know, for instance, a guy on a bicycle who's just ignoring your fucking blinker and wants to drive into the side of your car when you're trying to make a right turn. Yes, I'm talking from experience. I still hate you, you son of a bitch. Bastard. And lastly, don't speed. Don't be one of those guys that always has to like rev his engine and take off. Where the fuck you going, Vin Diesel? There's a stop sign 80 feet away. Chill the fuck out, Grease Lightning. Not to mention, I don't know why you're in a rush to get to wherever you need to go. Chances are no one wants to see you there anyway. You know how I know? Because what is everyone's reaction when they hear someone peeling out and taking off? Immediately everyone goes, oh yeah, you're awesome. Yeah, you're real fucking cool, bro. You're the man. Quick side note, don't drink and drive. Obviously. And don't listen to those fucking morons who are like, oh, I drive better when I'm drunk. No, you don't. The only thing you're good at when you're drunk is telling people that you're not drunk. I'm drunk? I'm not drunk. You're drunk. I haven't drank a drunk all night. Now that you learned all that, let's start actually driving the car, okay? Now, driving is pretty simple for the most part, but when you're surrounded by a bunch of fucking idiots, it tends to get difficult. There are some people that you're gonna need to look out for. Starting with slow grandma. Slow grandma's averaging about 11 miles per hour in the left lane on the highway and is between the ages of 110 and 163 years old. The good news is slow grandma isn't always on the road. The bad news is she's only on the road when you're in a rush, she's always directly in front of you and you're just flipping the fuck out behind her. The worst part is, is that you can't beep at her because if she hears a beep, she might freak out, have a heart attack, heart stop, she dies on the wheel. And we can't have that. Next, taxi drivers. These guys are fucking out of their minds. I'm convinced they show Jason Statham movies to these bastards before they leave for work in the morning because they drive like they're trying to escape to the Yakuza or some shit. Swerving in and out of cars, cutting people off, which doesn't make sense to me because when I'm in a cab, this guy's taking his sweet fucking time running up the fair, gets to a stop sign, he's staying there for like eight Mississippi, he's stopping for a hot dog, but when I'm in my car, cabs are fucking all over the road. Also, the beepers, real pieces of shit. These people will beep their horns the second the light turns green. And in a traffic jam, they will hold their horn for 40 seconds at a time. Just a constant God, they make me wish I could drive a tank, because as soon as I heard the horn, I would just turn that cannon around Ding 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 ding. They should make it so that if you hold your horn down for more than three seconds at a time, your airbag will explode in your face. These people are the reason I have road rage. If someone cuts me off now or like does something out of the ordinary, I will drive like James Bond just to get next to them to curse them out. I don't care who it is. The Pope cuts me off with his Pope mobile. Forgive me, Father, for I have shown you both middle fingers. After years of road rage, my temper is just out of control. I once yelled at a taxi driver for getting out of the driver's seat and helping a pregnant woman out of the back seat. I swear to God. I was like, come on, what are you doing? And then three blocks later, I realized I, there's, I'm, there's something wrong with me. But anyway, that's all you really need to know. I know people are probably like, Joe, how do you actually drive though? The video is called How to Drive. We didn't talk about driving. Dude, gas pedal, brake pedal, steering wheel. Have you never played a video game in your entire life? Come on. But anyway, congratulations. You're ready for the road. Yeah.